Manny Pacquiao's first championship fight, the beginning of a legend. On December 4, 1998, a 19-year-old Manny Pacquiao stepped into the ring to face Chachai Sasakul of Thailand in his first championship fight for the WBC flyweight title. It was a defining moment in Pacquiao's career, and one that would set the stage for his rise to boxing greatness. In this video, we take a closer look at Pacquiao's historic victory over Sasakul, analyzing the key moments of the fight and the strategy that Pacquiao employed to secure the win. We hear from boxing experts and commentators who offer their insights into the significance of the fight and what it meant for Pacquiao's future as a boxer. We also hear from Pacquiao himself, who reflects on the emotions he felt leading up to the fight, his mindset going into the ring, and how he managed to overcome the challenges he faced during the bout. Through his own words and the analysis of those who know him best, we gain a deeper understanding of the determination, skill, and heart that has made Pacquiao a legend in the world of boxing. Join us as we relive one of the most important fights in Manny Pacquiao's career and celebrate the beginning of a legacy that continues to inspire and captivate boxing fans around the world. ま、その有利選手の試合というのは有利選手がちょうど V10、10度目の防衛戦だったんですが、有利選手それを達成することができなかったわけです。チャッチャイが阻みました。ここ相手の試合です。ここに行く以外の試合です。左を出しました。ここ
マネージャーにならないかっていう話があったんですよね、えこのパッキャオですか、あそうなんですかで練習見て私、やめたんですね、<笑>あ、長さん的にはちょっとだめかなという感じだったんですかやはりちょっと避ける感が良くなかったですね、まあ、ディフェンスをおろすかにして、ともかく打つこと、打つことで、ですねもうあのそれを防御にしてくるタイプですね。じゃあここまでタイトル戦まで来るとは思ってまあいなかったわけですね。いやこの選手はですね、やはりそのパワーありますね。そしてただ避ける感がないんですよね。だから強い弱いじゃないんです。やっぱり好みっていうのがありますから。ジョーさんの好みにはなかった。はいえー、ジョーさんに捨てられた赤のトランクマニーパッキャオ。まあ捨てたわけじゃないんですよ。<笑>話し合ったんですけど私は断ったんですね。練習を見て、えー、という赤のトランクスはそのパッキャオです。白のトランクスがチャンピオンのチャッチャイ。カマさん立ち上がりのスタイルの印象は。おお右反対右左右。行きましたチャッチャイチャンピオンです突然の右でありました、まあ、今のパンチを含めて浜田さんどうでしょう、はい、その立ち上がりの2人の印象はチャンピオンのチャッチャイとすると、まあ、あのサウスポースタイルが得意かどうかわからないんですけどね今見た限りではやりやすいと思いますよああそうですか、はい、あのー、挑戦者のパッキョウが、はい、正面的な選手で,、えー、ですからね、えー、やりやすいと思いますね正面的というのは正面からまっすぐ来ると正面からしか来ないとああ左にそれとまさにこれはそうでしょう、まあ、パワーはありますけどね、えー、読みやすいですね相手の出方が読めずですね。戦前の予想ではそのお二人を比べた場合、パンチ力だけはこのマニーパッキャオチャンピオンを上回っているだろうとこういう評価が下されています。今あの右腕カラブリしてバランス崩しましたけどね。ああいった崩し方をよくするでしょうこの選手は。今のボクシングからは結構すると思いますね。そうですね。今も透かされました。飛び込んでいったところ打ち込まれています。前に積んのめって非常に無防備になる時がありますね、挑戦者の、まあ、正面的ですからね、あのえー、挑戦者の右のガードをです、ねはいえーまあ、今、ちょっと低いんですけど、盛んに上げながらやるときがあるんですね、今の感じで、右のガードを常に上げるという練習をしていると思うんですね、打つときにはです、ね、攻めに行くときには右が下がってますね。今は上がってますね。今は普通のホールとか上がってますよね。攻めに行くとか右が下がりますからね。はいはい、ですからチャンピオンとすれば左をどんどん打っておいて崩しておいて右ストレートを叩くやり方だと本当にやりやすいでしょう。なるほど。はい。えー、挑戦者サウスポーの利点はほとんどないですね。ないですか。はい。サウスポーの悪いところ結構でパッキャオ自身にはパンチあります。はい。第3ラウンドです WBC 世界フライ級のタ,タイトルマッチですチャッチャイダッチボーイジム対マニーパッキャオダッチボーイジムというのはこのリングネームでありまして先ほど向こうが韓国のスーパーでは、えー、ササクルという,、ね、う名前が出ていましたチャッチャイササクルですこれが本名なわけですかそしてあのタイ語ではですね最後の L は N の発音になるんですねササクルササクルなんですこれがこの名前でオリンピック、うん、ソロオリンピック出てるんですね、はいその後ですね、この選手、名前、えー、二度書いてるんですね、ええ、チャッチャイエリートジムっていう名前になりました、今度、そのスポンサーが変わりまして、もうチャッチャイダッチボーイジムですね、もう紛らわしいこと、この上ないですね、そうで,すで,すねでもチャッチャイはそんなに変えてない方じゃないですか、もっと変えてる選手はいっぱいいますもんね、ええあのーまあ、鬼塚選手と戦ったですね、はい、頼む作執行弁ですね、はいはいまあ、この選手は6度名前変えましたからね。ね、え日本の落語家じゃないんですからね、どんどんどんどんそういう名前を変える選手が大国にはいるということであります、なんか演技を担ぐっていうことがあるんですか、えー、生命学っていうのがありましてね、はい、そして負けたりして、その新しいものを呼び戻すた呼び起こすためにですね、名前変えたりすることがあるらしいんですね。はあというチャッチャイこの試合はダッチボーイズムというリングネームです日本も、まあ、欧米の国から比べると結構名前変える方ですよねあそうですか、まあ、戸口選手がピューマ・戸口になったり戸口貴人選手になったりとかね浜田さん浜田剛選手は浜田剛選手のまんまですねまあやっぱり普段でやるとまあ本名がいいんじゃないかなと私思いますけどね,<笑>ねただ彼もあの歴史の死ですね、一番下のね、はい、ねがついたんですね、はい、それはやはりあの、おーっと引っかかっていきます、浜田さん、それをつけた方が
、あのー、先が開けるという意味で、まああのえー、勝負師はそういったあの自覚ですか、各、え、地、ー、のことをちょっと言われて、そして実際ね、この今の歴史の詩をつけて、これ本名なんですよ。あ,あ、本名本名になったわけですね。な,すなるほど。バリバラです。左。激しい打ち合いになりそうです。このラウンドはパッキャオよく出てますね。出ていきます。頭を渡りました。右振った。インサイドから打ち返してくるのはちょっちゃいちょっとパワーで押されてますね。そうですね。大振りながら出ていきます。というのはあのチャンピオンのパンチが軽いんで、打たれても打たれてもどんどん前に出て行っているわけですよね。はい。ぐいぐい出ていくシーンがこのラウンドありました。第三ラウンドを終えています。このラウンドは挑戦者パッキャーのラウンドですね。はい。だいぶ構成を評価したものですか。そうですね。まあ構成していいパンチ当たってましたね。あの左のまあフックですね。はい。えー、そして右フックもそのヒットしてましたし。パッキャーというのはですねウェイトがきついんですよ。あのともかく体がですね身長100。Found a lot of glove there. The last punch in that combination got through, as did that one. Decent end to the second round for Chachai Shashakul. I just find that left hook Shashakul, but not on that occasion. Carl's defence is a little bit limp at times, and that's allowed the tie just to. Gain a bit of momentum, but now Pakal running forward onto that left hand, trying to get Shashakul into the corner and stop him from dancing around the outside. Pakal wants to get into close quarters, doesn't he? He wants this one at close range, but Shashakul won't let him do it, fending him off with a stiff right hand. Dab away with the right from Pakal, and just threatening to explode at times when they do come close and start to trade blows. Pakal enjoying a slight height advantage, and you can see that the way that Shashakul is always reaching up with those head shots. Maybe better verse to go downstairs. Throw a right hook there, but every time he's threatened to throw something big, Shashakul seems to have something on the counter, and that at the moment is what Pakal is concerned about. Good left hand there from Pakal, just seemed to rock Shashakul, and now he really is on the run, just up against the ropes and needs to get out of there. Doesn't want to take too many in a row. Pakal can stagger you and then stun you. And he knows that now. And Pakal is starting to come on strong in this fourth round. This is good stuff from the challenger. And this is what he needs: sustained periods of pressure. If he's to look like the favourite here, that's if it does go, of course, the distance, and not. Too many of his fancies to do that. Shashakul seems to have regained his composure here. Trying to throw that right hook on the turn. Seem to register, but Cal's taken the punch as well. Round five, then this WBC flyweight title on the line, the title of Chuchai Shashakul. The man trying to take it, Manny Pacquiao of the Philippines. Safe to say, more than a prospect at this stage in his career. But to truly fulfil the potential, surely he must strap a world belt around the waist. Tonight is the opportunity. Shashakul trying to attack, and the official struggling to get out of the way. They are moving at a rapid rate, and the 
pace has not relented. The crowd just adjusting. The ring attack. There's a focus as he moves in, but there he just got a little bit lazy with a couple of shots, and well, Shasha Cole takes the warning. Uh, it looks as though Bracow had just sort of lost it there, was stumbling back. Shasakul was trying to take advantage of that. And considering he is the hometown favourite, I think probably got the rough end of that one and then takes a right hand flush in the face. taking the center of the ring trying to plant the feet and try and work in behind the attack of Sasako getting through with his shots the tie but doesn't seem to be doing enough and the way Bacal is taunting him there I think he wants him to come forth trying to get the jab working trying to build something now in this fifth needs a period of pressure again you fancy at this stage we are back in Thailand for this WBC flyweight title contest between the champion Chachak Shasukul and Mani Fakao has reached round seven Pretty close run thing to this point, but for me, Pacal just with the edge. Mainly because he's the one fighting this on the front foot. Shashakul happy to defend for his life at times. He's been dropped on occasions. And as he was there, took that right hand and just had to shake it off a bit. Pacal has certainly got the power but as yet has just lacked a little bit of precision it seems to be more of a focus on Pacquiao though when Shashakul runs forward it's more in hope is it an expectation which says a lot when he is the champion but the mistake and euphoria which surrounds Pacquiao at this point is such that he comes in here with the reputation of a champion. This is Shashakul's fourth defence of this belt. And he's got a job on to keep it. And there's a spring in the step of the cow. He's all action in this round as he is all the time and starting just to open up. And if one of these lands, Shashakul's got a problem. He's leaving that guard a little bit low at times as well. That can came through there. Bacal trying to go for that right hook as well and Shashakul's just let the left glove drop on a few occasions he's left the target open and I think Bacal trying to work a position to take advantage of it he's chasing down Shashakul now and the tie just desperate to get out of harm's way few worried faces at ringside they're seeing their hometown hero be given the run around there's no doubt he's getting through with some shots Sasha called but he hasn't got the power at the moment and if he doubted Pacquiao's ability to take a punch or two he's proved tonight that he can but at no stage has he really been in trouble it's been a lot of that hasn't it where Shashakul has threatened, but he's not got himself in range. Pacquiao with a good left hand. Really drilled that through. And again there as he opens up at the end of the round. And you just get the feeling, start of this 
eighth round, uh, Manny Pacquiao is brewing towards something, trying now to go at the body as well. He threw a little left hook at the start of this eighth round. Shasha Kul standing square on, and there's not quite the spring in the legs of the Thai champion. Pacquiao building at everything just needs to settle himself doesn't want to do anything silly he's banging the gloves together and going after Shashakul and he's hungry for it now and he's burrowing in not too much defence as he came in there tried the right uppercut but wasn't far away from finding the mark decent body shot in there Shashakul's taking them but what are the effects of the just trying to tie it up there, that's always a bad sign. Managed to flick a little jab in there, but Bacow is walking through punches. Got in a left on the chin of Shashakul, who tried to offer some sort of repost, but Bacow is just shaking them off and coming forward. And that is going to demoralise the champion. Oh, that was a good right hand from Shashakul. That'll make him feel a lot better but he needs to back that up and it's just angered Pacquiao tried the left uppercut in there then a right hook but it just flew over the top and he almost looks frustrated Pacquiao there good right hand again more of a slap than a will thud Shashakul is working desperately hard but has he got enough? Both there seem to land on that exchange. Oh, that's a cracking pace. They've been like this since the opening bell, and here we are in the eighth round, and it's still toe-to-toe -to -toe stuff. No stage is Pacquiao accepted anything less than full-blown attack, and that left hand rocks Shashakul. Did he just glance at the official as well? I think he's in a spot above a hit. It looks like he's starting to puff a little bit, and down he goes. Well, there was a cracking body shot in amongst the barrage of blows. That did for him, and I don't think he's going to get up here. He is flat out with nowhere to go. The champion on home soil is battered up. He's down. He's out. It's over. There's no need to make the count. Manny Pacquiao has come of age in Thailand. He is a world champion, and this is how he did it and no wonder you have to slow it down look at that left hand right on the money that was the blow that did it just before that there was a decent body shot that went in which took some wind out of him too and there's nothing more for Shashakul his reign is over the Pac-Man's has just begun